This is Dorsor Ascendens. It's a very beautiful but extremely picky South American sundew, at least in my conditions, because it requires cooler temperatures and higher humidity. I've seen some really good results from other growers who are able to give this plant uh, to temperatures of less than 70 degrees Fahrenheit year-round, or able to provide a really cool temperature drop at night. But otherwise, this plant really seems to struggle during the warmer months of the summer, um, especially in my basement with temperatures around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the plant actually died back to a sort of hibernacula bulb the first year I had it, and it was only the size of the center of the crown of this plant for the first year. So I was finally able to get it to come out of that two-year slump after transplanting it to uh, a mixture of living sphagnum and peat and sand in a four-inch pot. Uh, I've, I've seen good results in, uh, from growers growing it in a two-inch pot as well since the moisture level is pretty important to maintain um, if you want this plant to thrive for you. But I also provided additional humidity by wrapping the top of the pot with saran wrap. This isn't required for the easier uh, South American sundews like Drosur campora pestris or Drosur gramabalensis, which is nice um, if you want a pretty um, very low maintenance sundew. But some growers have even kind of the extent of uh, melting ice water or putting ice cubes on the top of the pot and letting it melt down through the, the pot during the warmer months of the summer. But I don't have time to do that, so it's pretty much my plants have to survive or they, they just have to die then uh, if, if they're not going to be able to handle my conditions. But if, like I said, if you can provide it cooler temperatures and higher humidity, by all means, uh, take a shot at the species. It's easily propagated from leaf cuttings and root cuttings. And uh, the sea, the flowers are, um, they are self-fertile, but require cross-pollination for a, a reasonable size seed set, since uh, self-pollination doesn't produce many seeds, even if it's aided. But um, regardless, I'm happy that I finally got the species to do well, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to spread it around in the near future. But there you have it, that's Drosera Ascendance.